once was a lady in waiting. Let's call her Jane. That girl wasn't ordinary. No way for me, a lady stuck in waiting. I'd rather battle fire breathing dragons. I knew I could prove that a girl could be a knight. Though my friends all laughed at me, but I wouldn't be discouraged and trained in secret. Then a dragon pinched the royal prince, and everyone was freaking. So I went alone to the dragon's home to slay the dragon. Young prince, then the king made me a knight apprentice. Hey now, hey now, now. With dragon's help, I'll be a knight someday. Too slow, Jane. Again, you signal every stroke. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Boring. Come on, surprise me! Jane, Gunther! Ow! Sir Theodore commands all knights to the throne room. Come on, let's go! Still searching, Your Majesties. She was not in her room. Nor in the kitchen. I put out her favourite cake. And? Only ants, Your Highness. Well, keep looking. The princess must be found. And so she shall, sire. I have summoned the knights, and we shall search the countryside high and low. Has anyone looked in her favorite hiding place? Hiding place? Ridiculous. I have personally searched every nook and cranny of this castle. Jane, where might this hiding place be? Actually, you are sitting on it, Your Majesty. I am not coming out. <gasps> With your permission? Princess? Are those naughty pirates or monsters after you again? Pirates and monsters are for babies, Jane. I have a grown-up problem. A loose tooth. That is a problem. No one can pull it. It will hurt. But it looks like it will fall out soon all by itself. And then you are sure to get a visit from the Tooth Fairy. What, what? The Tooth Fairy. Have you never heard of it? That is a champion story. Tell us, Jane. I mean, tell the princess. Well, whenever you lose a tooth, you merely place it under your pillow. And while you sleep, the fairy takes it and leaves a beautiful trinket. <laughs> what sort of trinket? A surprise trinket. But you have to wait till your tooth falls out. Tooth? I command you to fall out right now. <laughs> Dragon? Is that you? What a coincidence! You have a loose tooth just like fang, the... Fang, Jane, fang. Totally different. A dragon fang is much bigger than a princess's tooth. Oh. Poor dragon. That tooth, the uh, fang, really should come out. Why? That tooth fairy poppycock of yours would not apply to dragons. Would it? Poppycock? You think so? Oh, absolutely. I've been sitting out here half the night. I've not seen a single trace of a fairy. What a shame. Because a fang that big would bring a magnificent trinket. Good night, then. Wait! Yes? I never said I absolutely do not believe in a tooth fairy. Now, this trinket, um, how magnificent are Promise we? Promise to get your tooth pulled? Uh, um, maybe. Then we must wait and see. Oh, the pain! The agony! Oh, the torture! No one has touched you. Well, yet. Ugh. Dragon, we all have other work round the castle. Now, do you want your tooth out or not? Not. You, well, maybe. Well, depends. On what? Tell me the truth. Is the tooth fairy real or did you just make it up? I will tell you the truth after your tooth comes out. Promise? Knight's honour. Very well, butcher. Do your way. Why is Dragon eating our stable boy? 
The dragon has a loose tooth just like you, Your Majesty. Smithy is just pulling it. Already done. It is. Ah, took your time. <laughs> well, pardon me while I go wash my face. Now, your promise, Jane. Tooth fairy. Real or not? Real, of course. Ha! I thought so. Then I'm getting a trinket tonight. Woohoo! What about you, princess? Still there. I am not as brave as you, dragon. <laughs> Few are. I shall keep this in my room, dragon. Oh, really? And why, trinket, trinket, might that be? Because uh, the Tooth Fairy might be a trifle skittish about going into a dragon's lair. But how will she know it is mine and not yours? Right, yeah, good point. And I can trust you with my trinket, can I? Dragon, Jane is a knight. Everyone can trust Jane. Right. <laughs> Magnus, you wanted a progress report. Yes, indeed. How is Gunther coming along with his training? Oh, your son can wield the sword well enough, but he lacks skill with a horse and failed to memorize the knight's code. He must put more effort in. See that he does. Get your study books, lad. I have a test for you. Gunther will join you shortly, Ivan. I just need a moment with him. Uh -huh. Father, if this is about falling off the horse... No. What do you know of dragon's teeth? I believe they are valuable. Indeed they are. In a weapon, they hold their edge better than any steel. Yes, sir. Will this be on Sir Ivan's test? Uh, no. But it is a test in its way of your loyalty to me. Sir? Jane has a dragon's tooth. And I want it. Do I need to say more? Sir, are you asking me to... No, Gunther. I am telling you. Get me that tooth, whatever it takes. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Father, but Sir Theodore says that a knight's code for Knight's code? And who pays for your knight's training? You do, Father. Then do my bidding. Well, I think it is sweet that Dragon believes in the tooth fairy. I know, Peppa, but I lied to him. Just an innocent little fib. Dragon trusts me. I gave him my knight's honor. So give him a nice trinket. No harm done. Jane, <gasps> you are in violation of the Tooth Fairy's rules. Excuse me? The tooth is to be placed under a pillow, not on the floor like a chamber pot. All right. Keep your scales on. Now, please, go away and go to sleep. Not possible. Too excited. Try counting cows. That always works. Yeah, okay. Cows. Mmm. Yeah, how does it start again? Moo. Mm. One. Right. Got it. to be brighter. Oh, silver polish. I have some in the kitchen. Champion. I should love to see Dragon's face in the morning when he finds this. Did the Tooth Fairy leave me? Oh, Dragon, do you know what time it is? Trinket time! Trinket, trinket, trinket! Anything to let me go to bed. Hmm? Hold on, your tooth. It is gone. Of course. Take tooth, leave trinket. Come on, hand over. Oh, it is beautiful. 
It is wonderful. It is... What is it? It is a ring, of course. For a dragon. It is the most dazzling trinket I have seen in 300 years. Gunther is a champion tooth fairy. Gunther? Oh. Well, the counting cows, hopeless, far too excited. And you saw Gunther? Walking out of your room with my tooth. Big surprise, not what I expected. Princess Lavinia said they had wings and were much smaller and made little tinkly noises. Indeed. <laughs> you are dragging your feet, Squire. <laughs> Sorry, Sir Ivan. Too little sleep last night. Ow! Oh. <laughs> we get it. Your father expects great things from you, lad. My father expects a great many things. Then do your napping in bed and not in the yard. <sighs> Perhaps I can open Gunther's eyes, Sir Ivan. Oh, do your worst. He is but a lead foot. Look who he left behind. Oh, Tooth Fairy! I want it back, Gunther. You want what back? The tooth. It belongs to Dragon and to me. What do our studies say about thieving, Gunther? Do not lecture me. Thieving. And in the wrong hands, a dragon tooth can be very dangerous. Enough! I do not have your precious dragon's tooth. Good morning, Tooth Fairy. Whoa. Oh, thank you so much for my trinket. When it catches the sun, I can dazzle sheep with my brilliance. You are both mad. I am not a fairy. But I saw you. Gunther has to say that, dragon. Fairies have secrecy rules, you know. They have a code of behavior just like knights. Oh, right, right. No problem, fairy. Your secret's safe with me. Well, me and Jane. And a shepherd I mentioned it to. Just leave me alone. So where do you keep all the tea? Princess Lavinia says you want them for a giant necklace. Can I see them? And your fairy friend. Apples. Mmm. Take as many as you like, Princess. I washed them today. I cannot bite them. See? Loose tooth. Perhaps Peppa could make applesauce for you. Yay! Apples. Yes. Stop. No! All for applesauce. Oh, sorry, Princess. Been on the run all morning. Who from? <laughs> oh, there you are. Nearly lost you. Hello. Not again. Tooth Fairy, wait. Squire Gunther is the Tooth Fairy? Ah, yes. But we must keep it a secret. Just between you and me. And him. And Jane. And the shepherd. But where are his wings? Good question. I shall ask him. Where are your wings, Gunther? And, and your fairy friends? Are they invisible? Jane! Jane! Call off your dragon! Certainly. As soon as I get his tooth back. The tooth has gone. Even if I wanted to get it back, there is... Have it your way. Dragon! Dragon! Oh, no. What? Fairy Gunther, the princess is very concerned about your wings. You told the princess? Oh, oh secret. Right. Sorry. Enough! Stop this! It is not a secret, it is a lie. A lie? Yes, a lie. A stupid lie. There is no such thing as a tooth fairy. Jane made the whole thing up. Take that back. Jane would never lie to me, never. Tell him, Jane. Well, actually... I, I sort of did, but not a lie, not really. Jane? Just a little fib. A fib is different. Oh, really? How is it different, Jane? No! We wanted you to have a trinket. It was completely harmless. We... Oh. Sorry. I see. Sorry! Dragon, wait! Sorry. Dragon, please let me come in. I brought your trinket back. <gasps> Look, it was a misunderstanding. I would never ever lie to you. Not a proper lie. 
this was because of the... A fib? Yes, and a very tiny one. Dragon, our friendship Friendship? Means... You made sport of me. No, never. I was going to tell you the truth, but the princess was... Ah! Look, I know I made up a story, but that does not mean there is no such thing as a tooth fairy. Fibber? Fib, fib, fibbera? There could be, just because I have never seen one. Well, it will take a very big trinket to make me believe in them again. Oh, yes. I would have to wake up with a really magnificent dragon-sized crown under my pillow. You sleep on a pillow? Pillow? Boulder? I was making a point. Now go away. Father, may I speak to you? Later, boy. I have some business to conduct. But I have been reading the Book of Codes, Father. The Knight's Code? Sir Ivan, always a pleasure. Yes, indeed, Magnus. Pleased and intrigued by your message. Do you have some new item of weaponry to show me? What material makes the most formidable tips for sword and lance alike? A dragon's tooth? <laughs> you have acquired one? crown big enough to fit a dragon. Is that all? No. Surprise. It must be a magnificent crown. And? And I need it by tonight. Is that possible? For most blacksmiths, no. But our smithy is the metal miracle maker. The, the miracle metal maker. No. He is very good. <laughs> I could use a ring from this old candelabra. It might fit his head. And I could attach these round the rim, and... And why does Dragon need a giant crown anyway? A long story, Smithy. A long and tragic story of lies, deceit, and lost affections. So very... Jane. I met the Tooth Fairy today, Father. Did you, Pumpkin? <laughs> How splendid! Do you want to know who it is? Yes, indeed. I cannot tell you. It is a secret. Such an imagination. <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. Good night, my little loose tooth. Mwah. Do you think I should tell Father who it is? What? You have a loose tooth, just like me. Loose. Loose. <gasps> my tooth! <laughs> what was that, Princess? Nothing. Fairy is hard work. Shh. Light sleeper. Now for the difficult part. Pushing a giant crown up a mountain was easy? Compared to getting it under Dragon's pillow, yes. He sleeps on a pillow? Pillow, boulder. The point is, we have to place this crown under his head. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? One cow. Three. Four. Oh, oh, cows. Cows, where are the moo makers? Cows. Oh. 
Thank you, Jane. No, thank you, Gunther. For what? That tooth means a huge amount to me. As does my honor as a knight. Gunther! Yes, Sir Ivan? You're on stable duty all week, lad. Seems your father is none too happy with you. Red is a beat about something. Jane, Jane! The king and queen command that you attend immediately. Your majesties. <laughs> oh. Look, Jane, the tooth fairy left it under my pillow, just as you said. Ooh. Now that is a lovely trinket, Princess. Thank you. And now I must show Peppa and Rake, and then bite an apple. <laughs> the Queen and I both want to express our thanks to you, Jane. For what, sire? For playing tooth fairy to the Princess. We had no idea the tooth had come out at last, so we never left a trinket. But neither did I. Well, if we did not place the necklace under her pillow, and you did not, then who? <gasps> well, that would be the Tooth Fairy. Who do you think gave me this truly magnificent trinket? Impressive. That fairy must really like you, Dragon. And I like her, too. Her cow imitation needs a bit of work, though. Dragon? Ha, 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 ha!